If you won with the potato like me, then you're gonna wanna check this video out. Today, we're doing loaded mashed potato cakes. Let's get it. Okay, so look, the first thing we're gonna do is, obviously you guys see that I'm using a cast iron skillet, right? I'm gonna go ahead and just start putting my bacon in. Okay, look, now you saw the bacon is done. Look, if you look right here, I don't know if you guys can see the, you know, the, uh, the bacon grease is a little bit on the hot side, right? See it with that little smoke? That's okay. You know what this is right here? This is my bacon jar. So while this is cooling, I'm going to set this off to the side, go get my strainer. Once it's cooled enough, then I'll put some more bacon grease in there. All right, so what I did was I went ahead and drained it. You guys uh, know that I keep up with my bacon fat, right? After I drain it, if you would like, you can save yourself a tablespoon of your bacon fat. You know what I mean? You can put, you could dice up some onions and you can put your onions in there and then add your garlic along that way you know and get it just translucent right but for me if you guys take a look right here check this out i'm gonna be using like the green onion and i got a little bit of the white part too but i like green onion and this is the route we're gonna go today now these are my mashed potatoes right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go back remember we had look we got crispy bacon so i'm gonna go ahead and just add this you know whatever it doesn't you see these little pieces right there because i don't get it like super crispy you know what when i take this piece right here you know i'm gonna eat that to myself all right, but the rest, just go ahead and crumble it. You can eat any big pieces, just fix it. You guys can do it on a uh, cutting board. You can uh, do them like I'm doing them, you know what I mean? Or you can just, you know, cut them down, like I said. All right, look, after you get the bacon in, it basically becomes like a dump and go, right? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and get my egg out the way right now, right? All right, after the eggs, look, like I said, it's almost pretty much a dump and go. Listen, right here we got fresh basil. Just add that. And then if you look right here, you'll see some white. This is my onion. This is my green onion. Obviously, I didn't do the other onion. Otherwise, I would have sauteed it, right? So I'll just add this here. I save a little bit of my top back. And then over here, we got some fresh parsley. Right? Look at the flavors. You know what I mean? Uh, you guys should be able to see all of this come together. And then last but not least, we got that shredded cheese. I'm just going to add just a little bit in at a time as I mix. All right, so look, I added just a little bit more cheese and then listen, for a little bit of that flavor, this is what I'm gonna put on here. This is the profile I like. This is my AP seasoning. We're gonna go ahead and just give this just a little bit. We don't wanna overpower it. This right here be nice, folks. And then you know what? It's always, you know, everything that I do and I develop is a low sodium, it's low sodium, you know, a low sodium product. So I'm gonna give it just a pinch, you know, of salt. You know, I'm gonna have that black pepper because I love that taste. And you know what we're gonna do now, folks? We're gonna go ahead and mix. Okay, so when it comes down to the flour, right? I want you guys to take a look at this consistency here. I'm sure that I can get a patty out of that, but I wanna add a little flour just so we can keep it in there, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and just put a little bit in here like this. Just work it in. You don't wanna put a whole lot. It depends on your potatoes, you know what I mean? That's why I like to use potatoes that I made, mashed potatoes that were previously made. We got the consistency that we want, you know, with the mashed potatoes. Now, I kept, a, you know, about a tablespoon of, you know, that bacon grease. I put it back in here. You can see a little bit of the fine in there, but that's all the flavor, right? Now you want to go ahead and just add your butter, right? So we'll just get this to go ahead and melt. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a pro tip, right? I'm going to put a little oil on my hands. You know, so nothing to really stick to it, right? Or try to slow it down. So what you want to do is go ahead and get yourself, I guess if I had a large ice cream, ice cream scoop, that would work. You know what I mean? Now look, the cheese and that, you know, the flour is going to help it adhere, right? But this is what you want. And I like them to be a little bit on the thick side, right? So I just take them like this and then I add them. All right, so look, here's another one off. Just want you to look at that. That's that cheese that make it have that color on it. And then listen. You guys can hear they a little bit on the crispy side.
Now for just a little bit of this sour cream on the top. A little, little parsley, sprinkle it around. Now I'm gonna take some beauty shots and I can't wait to eat it. All right, they don't need me doing all of that. You guys seen what it looked like. Hey, super delicious. And every time I serve these, you know, somebody always just say, now what is this? And when I tell them what it is, they go, man, I just never ever really thought about, you know, making them. Cause listen, it's super simple and I can't wait to hear what you guys do with it. Hey, with all that talking, you know what I mean? I'm trying not to over talk. Cheers folks. This right here is fire. Now, what I'm interested in, you know, reading the comments down, you know, down below, you guys let me know what would you do to level up and make these yours. So, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there, listen, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And you know how I get down, folks. I'm out. Thanks for watching. More info is in the description. Please subscribe, like, comment and share.